Tommy, it's safe to say that there was some entertainment at the EBB Stadium today. Unfortunately, we were on the other end of the stick. What are your uh, thoughts after that one? Well, I know, I know it's the festive period, but that first half was a bit of a pantomime for us. Yeah. Um, I don't know who, because I can't remember, but I, of the five goals that we conceded, I think at least three of them, we actually had the last touch before the goal scorer. And I don't mean like a deflection or a, you know, a block or anything. We were in possession of the ball, made it a big error, and it put them through to one-on-one -on -one with Geordie. So, I've, you know, if it's frustrating, don't get me wrong, and I understand people will be frustrated, and a lot went, I see a lot of people would may have left it 5-0. But again, the lads, you know, I asked them, it's half time, go and win the second half. Because I didn't, I was mindful, you know, it could have ended up really ugly for us. But the lads, you know, they dug in. Um, and we could have scored more than three goals, could have, would have, should have. But, you know, you can't, you can't give teams four nil leads. You know, we've done well on occasions to give them one or two. But um, one of them days, I've got to wipe it away. You know, the lads have had a hell of a week. Um, and... You know, I would I would actually have preferred to win this game because of where we are, yeah. where we were in the table before the game, but because nobody really expected us to win in the weekend. But um, at the end of the day, you know, we, we have to move on to the next game quickly. Do you think that maybe did play a bit of a, a part in the lads? You know, where it's been such a big week, maybe a bit in their heads. Well, you know what? If we'd have withered away further after half time, I'd have said yes. But we didn't. We actually come on strong in the second half. You know, people will probably question what the team we picked and what have you, but we're, we're well aware of the, the fatigue levels after games of certain players. There are lads in this team who are really, really explosive, quick, run for long distances, and, and they just needed looking after. So, look, we've got our eye on a bigger picture. It's a game we obviously wanted to win. We thought we could win. I think we're a better football team than them. But, but you've got to give them credit. They did a really good job on us in the first half. We've spoken before about, obviously, how we've done a lot of comebacks this season, I guess giving away five goals first is maybe a step too far for us. But again, the lads have shown that fight from a losing position to not give up, especially at 5-0 down. That's that's really good character, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a freak. It's a freak to get 5-0 down like we did. Like I said, we were definite massive contributors to at least three of the goals ourselves. Um, but what having come back and got back into the game, you know, I didn't think I'd have seen their bench scrambling and taking the strikers off and putting another defensive midfield player on, having been fired nil up in a game. But it, it, that's testament to the players, in fairness. Like I said, I asked them to win the second half. They did that. Um, but we give them two goals to start the second half and beat them 3 2. So, you know, like I said, I wait, stop, or try to wait to stop, pull away from the dressing room as quickly as I can. I'm going to do, do the same when I've done this with the lads. I, and But I'm going to give them credit because I didn't get a chance to say how well the, I thought they played after the game in the dressing room because of all the hoo-ha going on. Um, but I'm really proud of the group. We're halfway through the season. I came to the football club on the 3rd of April, I believe, mm -hmm. and we were on 40 points. And we're four short of that going into, going into the last game before Christmas. So... We've definitely moved forward as a football club, as a football team. I'm, I'm loving the group that I'm working with. My staff are fantastic and the fans. To, to stay on at 5-0 down and cheer us off like that on all four sides again, you know, I've got to thank them massively. It's, it's really appreciated. And I'm sure the boys next time on, on the EBB there will give them something to show them. And I think I can speak for a lot of fans where even sitting there at maybe 5-1, 5-2, I still had that belief. I'm sure a lot of people still have belief. You did hear it in the crowd. So that's testament to the lads. That's testament to the supporters that we are in a better place this season. And, you know, this is as you keep saying, we'll wipe the slate clean. It's a small bump in the road, but we carry on, don't we? Yeah, I've mentioned many times to you before, you know, you've got to really enjoy the good times because there's always bumps in the road. You know, football does kick you up the backside more than a patch on the back. And this is a proper kick up the, up the rump. So we We've got to take it, we've got to bleed, as Stuart is, but we've just got to get on with it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's one game. I, didn't, I don't want to lose any game, you know, and to score three goals, we shouldn't be losing the game. So, again, we've, we've contributed. I never, I never dig individuals out, but there's three or four of them have made real errors towards goal, and that's, that's one of them things we've got to get rid of.